Hi guys, today we're talking about energy of a photon and in this problem uh, we are asked to calculate the energy of a photon having a wavelength in the following ranges microwave uh, with 0.52 meters or 52 centimeters 520 nanometers and 0.52 nanometers alright so this is just a, a little picture of the different wavelengths and as you know uh, photons uh, display a wavelength slash particle duality um, but for this problem we're just we're just concerned with the wavelengths so as you can see uh, these longer wavelengths uh, are going to have a lower frequency and that is going to uh, correlate to a lower energy and these uh, smaller wavelengths or these shorter wavelengths are going to have a much higher frequency and those are going to correlate to a much higher energy state so I've got some equations over here and we've got C which is the speed of light uh, equals the frequency times wavelength okay and so for this see we they've been they've given us the wavelength so we're going to have to find the frequency and then you've got E, which is energy, equals H. And all H is is Planck's constant. It's just this right here uh, times the frequency that we determined from over here. And that's going to leave us with an answer in joules. And we need it in electron volts. So what we do is we divide the answer divided by the charge of an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And that's going to leave us with electron volts. Yeah. So we know that uh, C I'm sorry C equals frequency times the wavelength right so we need to rewrite this for frequency so that's what we need to find frequency is just going to equal C the speed of light divided by the wavelength All right. Now for the second part, we need to determine this, this energy. So we say E, and of course this is going to be in electron volts, equals H, which is Planck's constant, so 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds right, times the speed of light which is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by whatever associated wavelength we're, we're looking at. So for the first one we put a uh, 0.52 because it's in centimeters we need it in meters so we just put a 0.52 right. and then we're going to divide this whole part by E or the charge of an electron and that's going to leave us with electron volts so 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 All right. so we got our equation and for each step, all you're going to do is substitute whatever wavelength they've given us uh, right here. And that's going to give us our answer. So go to the calculator. And uh, we say 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. Okay. Not sure why we they put give us brackets but 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th right? and then uh, that's going to be multiplied by the speed of light 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 right? divided by 0.52 for the first one it's a, micro or a microwave and this whole uh, function right here is going to be divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Okay? And 
and uh, that looks pretty good. So we get 2.39 times 10 to the negative 6 electron volts. Alright, so we got this first part, we've got 2.39 times 10 to the negative 6 electron volts. Alright. So for the second part, uh, where's the enter button? All we're going to do is change that. So we need 520 nanometers. So 520 times 10 to the negative 9th. Alright. And uh, that looks pretty good. And that's going to leave us with 2.39. So for the second part, for visible light, visible light produces 2.39 electron volts. And you can probably see a trend here. Uh, they're both 2.39. Uh, you went from negative 6 to just 2.39. And as you can see, uh, we went from 0.52 to uh, 520 times 10 to the negative ninth. So frequency is proportional to energy. Um, and if you wanted to calculate or predict what, you know, how much energy the next one would have, uh, you would just say uh, we've got 520 and you're moving it to 0.52, so we're going over three places. So it's going to be 2.39 times 10 to the negative, or uh, to the third. All right, so let's, uh, let's verify. Shoot. Okay. And so all we're going to do is change this to a 0 0.520. And that is going to leave us with, what do you know, 2.39 times 10 to the third. All right, so 2.39 times 10 to the third electron volts. And that's how you solve that problem. Pretty simple.